my name's Trey and I've got a basketball game tomorrow. <laughs> my 20s just, is just me quoting vines for 10 years straight. What's up everyone, my name is G uh, and today I have a pretty cool video. I think it's cool but I also think, I was going to say crocs are cool but I actually don't like crocs, the animals or the shoes. <clears throat> so today I wanted to talk about something that I haven't struggled with for a few years. Um, no. I haven't struggled with for a few months, um, but in the last few weeks, definitely, I have struggled with <coughs> anxiety a lot. I'm so fidgety today. So in the past, I have struggled really badly with panic attacks and um, not going out to places because uh, my anxiety kind of got the better of me. And in the last few weeks, I've noticed that my anxiety has definitely got a lot worse that I, for the first time in about a year and a half, I had a panic attack. I was really feeling worried and anxious and that the main cause of it was coronavirus and was the um, UK going back into lockdown. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull this down a bit, there we go. The UK going back into lockdown, um, my parents being in a different country, my brother being in a different country to my parents and to me and it just made my anxiety so much worse but before I get started I just want to say that I am going to be talking about some things in this video that might trigger you so if you are someone that struggles with watching videos on depression or self-harm or anxiety then this video might not be right for you or you might want to get someone to come and watch the video with you or watch it before you um, so they can kind of see if it's the right video for you but if you feel like it isn't don't worry I don't mind if you don't click it okay so for today's video I wanted to talk about some apps that have really helped me out with my anxiety when I'm out and about or when I need to leave the house and I feel a panic attack starting. Let's, let's do this. So I've split it into like three categories and the first category is like um, things that you can listen to so mindfulness meditation type things and there's a few out there and I've got to admit I don't do them every day but when I am just about to go to sleep and I feel really really anxious before I go to sleep I will use Shine so Shine is an app that has um, meditations uh, or reflections and they really help me to relax and to kind of get in the mindset of going to sleep and not worrying and fearing and thinking about all the things that normally make me anxious. So Shine has some really good free stuff. Um, they do have some stuff that you can pay for but I don't pay for anything. <laughs> I just use it for the free stuff and I listen to the same things again and again because there are some that I just find really helpful. So yeah, I normally listen to that in the evening. Have also, so I asked some of you guys on Instagram if you had any things that you used. And a lot of people said Headspace. I've never used Headspace, but it's kind of the same as Shine where you have like meditations and they can talk you through things. And it's kind of someone who can talk you through how you're feeling and talk you through what your brain is like why you were going into fight or flight mode because it's it's a physical reaction anxiety it's like you feel it in your body and you feel like there's nothing you can do about it but actually there is something you can do about it there is uh things that you can do that will counteract your fight or flight mode and stop you from like bursting into tears or hyperventilating when you're out in public so yeah, those are two, I would say secular ones. Uh, and there's also a Christian one called Oh My Soul, which I've just started using because one of my friends recommended it to me. And it's actually really, really good. So those are kind of things that help me to take my mind off 
some things that might be causing me some stress and might be causing me to be anxious. Before I continue, if you are not already subscribed, I would love it if you could subscribe. Uh, it also helps me out a lot if you like this video and comment down below. Um, it kind of helps the algorithm and Facebook likes it when you do that. And so do I. So the second category is kind of self-help, self-help, self-help apps. So apps that involve you actually physically having to do something, not just listening. Uh, and one of my favourite ones is an app that I use for depression and self-harm and anxiety as well, all bumble bundled into one, which is called Calm Harm. Calm Harm. So Calm Harm has loads of different ideas which are basically distractions and they don't have to just be distractions from self-harm. This kind of works in the same way as how you combat anxiety where you kind of have to distract your brain and take it away from the focus of worrying and focusing on that one thing and rather than worrying and focusing on it you think about other things so you rip up some paper you um go for a walk you do other things there's loads there's loads of really cool things on there and they have ranges of times from 15 minutes to a couple of hours and they even ask you like is is other feelings still there have they got better or worse and it's just a really good app and it's free and i love mental health stuff that's free <laughs> Another thing that isn't necessarily linked that much with self-harm, but it's more anxiety, is an app called Anti-Stress. And the only thing with this app is it has a lot of ads. So if you are someone that gets frustrated with loads of pop-up ads, this might not be the app for you. But it has loads of things like cutting soap, where you have to, like, they, essentially they're games, but you have to cut the soap, you have to flick a light switch on and off, there's one where you can click a pen and you can have the sound of it on or off. You can also have your phone, it like vibrates. There's one where your phone like goes bzz, bzz for some reason. Um, and you can have that on or off, which I think is really cool. So yeah, I really like that when I'm out and about. So I like it when I'm out and about because my main problem when I'm out is if I hear someone laughing or a group of people laughing I'll go they are laughing at my appearance that's where my brain goes and it's it's nothing to do with those people it's just some flaws that I have and some issues that I have that I'm working through and the these apps really help me to think okay well don't I feel like having bipolar and having anxiety it's very difficult to live in the now because if I think about the now too much I will get depressed and especially now during corona times if I think about the now I will get so depressed that I won't know what to do um so I think these apps were a really good distraction from what might be happening in your own little world but also might what might be happening in the bigger world as we know it right now and being distracted from the right now isn't always a bad thing but let me know if you agree with me if you think that that was absolute <laughs> if you think that was absolute rubbish then um so what what have i missed calm harm anti-stress what's up what's up so when i was doing cbt cbt not cbd i got recommended this by my therapist who kind of talked me through it and it was just really good to so my my most used thing on whatsapp is name five fruits you can think of name five brands name five types of pasta I, it was just things like that that I found really really helpful because it made me not think about oh my goodness like I'm really short of breath I can't breathe uh, my chest is really tight I've got a headache I, 
I'm sweating, like people can see me sweating and like it would just make me panic and throw me into a panic attack and then I would just go on this app and I would go, okay, right, name five things, um, five fruits, five, and it's really similar to the three, two, one, uh, which I, it's like, there's loads of different versions, but the version I do is three things you can see, two things you can hear, and one thing you can feel. Um, or oh, there's like three, oh, it's snowing. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> But it's mainly three, two, one, and then you just think of like a sense. So touch, hear, taste, smell, see. There's also a bit on what's up that is to do with breathing and my like most used thing probably other than uh, self-help apps is breathing exercises. So I am the worst at remembering to breathe when I'm panicking or when I'm stressed. I have to constantly check if I'm holding my breath. One of, yeah, I'll say this. One of the things I used to do when I was little, when I was, um, not little, but like early teens, late, like when I was getting into double figures is hold my breath and see how long I could hold my breath for. And sometimes I will do that as a comforting technique, but it actually makes me feel a lot worse. Uh, and so sometimes I will, when I'm really stressed, I'll hold my breath or when I'm really, really anxious and when I'm around new people, I'll hold my breath and then I'll feel really out of breath. And then I'll be like, oh my goodness, I'm out of breath now. Like, and you don't want to breathe. Like, it's, it sounds ridiculous, but I didn't want to breathe because I didn't want to seem out of breath because I wasn't breathing and I didn't, ugh, it was just, it was a lot. Um, so breathe so I normally breathe in for four hold it for two and breathe out for four or breathe out, breathe out for three but I think the normal thing is breathe in for eight now I I just don't have the lung capacity to breathe in for eight hold it for two and breathe out for four I think I would pass out if I did that so I just do that and sometimes the simplest thing can be the most effective the final thing I have is um, the only thing on my list that you have to pay for. Uh, but most of you have probably already got this and that is Spotify and Apple Music. I never leave the house without headphones. I also have a backup pair of headphones but that's a story for another video. I'm just super weird and organised. So I am always either listening to music or I'm listening to podcasts and when I've got a playlist of my favourite songs that I like to listen to when I am feeling really anxious, when I'm in public. So I will link the Spotify playlist down below and you guys can listen to it if you're out and about and you're feeling anxious. There is one song and I can't remember what it is but I will put it here, the name of it. And it is like scientifically proven to help, what do you call it? Um, like to help your fight or flight mode to reverse it there we go found the english word honestly sometimes i forget that i don't know all the english words <laughs> so i listen to that i also have a playlist of just some crazy dance music <laughs> um so i will link that down below but yeah that's pretty much it i hope those apps were helpful for you if you feel like i've missed out one of your favorite ones and one of your really important ones comment it down below i would love to have some more things to use <sighs> but as always go easy on yourself it's such a weird and anxious time that we live in and i think that if you are struggling a little bit with it, maybe go and see your doctors, maybe ring them and say that you have been really struggling with feeling anxious. It's just really horrible and it feels like there's nothing you can do about it, but there are things that you can do about it. And so reach out if you need it. And as always, my DMs are always open for me to send you funny memes if you need it. And yeah. Also, thank you so much, but I have like 71 subscribers now. How wild is that? Oh, I started this with four. 
Oh, so thank you so much for that. I love it. I love making videos. It's so fun and I love that you guys have been so supportive and I'm watching the videos of a crazy bipolar girl going on about life. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week, month, year. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good week. Bye. Easily my anxiety Hard to breathe something something thing